Late summer 2020, Western Washington's vulnerability to fire becomes clear as fire threatens communities including Bonnie Lake and Pierce County. Overall, it's been another bad fire season on both sides of the Cascades, and the state's largest fire department is stretched thin. The state has 11 helicopters to make precision water drops. We only had one helicopter for that fire. We had to move that hel helicopter between other fires. It just shows you how few air resources we have, how we need more of them. Hillary Franz leads that fire department, the Department of Natural Resources, and what she wants to see is more aircraft, bigger aircraft made available. A global super tanker can dump 19,200 gallons to help stop a fire. I mean, just look behind us. How amazing. And the aircraft is here now in Moses Lake. The question is, for how long? We need federal support to bring this together so we can have a fleet of aircraft out here to support the entire West Coast. Lee Human is head of Aerotech, an aviation company that is doing a digital upgrade to the super tanker's drop system. But this is the one and only super tanker. The company that owns and operates it would like to have a fleet of three to four. John Winder is operations chief. I think what everybody needs to understand is this is just one of the uh, tools in the, in the firefighter's tool chest. Aerotech says it can convert more older 747s into super tankers. That's frankly what we what, what we're setting out to go do here is we want to support Global Super Tanker and convert more of the existing 747 aircraft into this special, we call it a special missions application. But something the size of this aircraft is too expensive for Washington to contract all by itself. But Franz argues by working together with other states as a region, it could become much more available. Well, so what happened last year during the firestorm, I'm not begging for air resources and keep coming up empty from the federal government. So as we come up to the end of March, know this, the official start of fire season in this state is in the middle of April. In Moses Lake, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.